Hey, this is Adam Pratt at the Game Grid Arcade in West Valley City, Utah at the Valley Fair Mall. Our entrance is on the outside of the mall, right next to the Red Robin Restaurant. And today we're looking at Blazing Angels Arcade by Global VR and Ubisoft. Um, when I first heard about this, I was a little unsure about it because typically uh, when an arcade game goes to console, they'll die a little bit. And of course this was the exact opposite. It came out on consoles first and then it came to arcades. Um, but it actually is a really cool game. Uh, they've modified it a little bit from the console versions, and as you can see, the cabinet itself is one of the things that really appeals to uh, the whole arcade culture and idea. 42-inch um, LCD high-definition screen, uh, so you don't have to go out and buy one of those if you don't have it already. Uh, the arcade version, of course, also has these unique controls. You have this flight stick here, the trigger for firing bullets, a couple of buttons for missiles, a little thumb stick for uh, or giving squadron order orders, and it also has this landing gear, but I haven't found any level ever that's actually useful. And then it has a throttle here for speed of your uh, plane, and it even has little lights on the edges where when it's slow, they blink slow, and you go fast, they blink faster. Just a little detail that makes this cabinet really cool. Uh, set to four tokens to play. Uh, we Six tokens per dollar here, so it's less than a dollar to play and two tokens to continue, but let's get started. Uh, when you start, it gives you a choice to play any of these levels except for Berlin. To get to Berlin, you have to beat uh, the hard difficulty or dogfight first. Uh, each one of these will have some sort of objective for you to complete. Generally, there's three objectives per mission. Sometimes it's just wiping out an enemy plane. Sometimes it's ground targets. Uh, different battles from World War II that you can experience here. Or just dogfight, which is just straight uh, shooting planes down. So we'll go to that. And different difficulties you can choose from here. Uh, one thing that people mention a lot about this game, and is it is tough. We actually have it set on easy, and people still complain that it's uh, fairly difficult. Uh, it just takes a little bit of getting used to. Now, of course, one of the nice things about it is that graphically it looks great. You know, that's something people have complained about with arcades at times. Is, you know, they just don't look as good as they used to anymore, but this does a pretty good job. You probably already heard it. When you get shot, there's a seat solenoid, and so the whole seat will vibrate when you get shot at, which is really cool. You're going to down. And of course, everybody in the arcade knows when you're playing this game, because not only we have the volume up, but just with that seat solenoid, it's... Now you have a radar to show you where your enemies are at. It'll make things a little easier. It's really just precise aiming that takes some getting used to. Uh, missiles, of course, aren't homing missiles. Those didn't really exist. Uh, so it's just straight fire. So you really have to aim, time it right. Uh, around your target engage, it shows how many missiles you have left. They actually regenerate. Of course, this pops up every now and then for you to find your, the nearest target. And actually, by figuring out, using the throttle control to find your enemies, you can play a little better. But anyways, back to the little gauge. As you'll notice it goes down as I fire missiles. Then after a moment, it will regenerate. So it's nice that you have unlimited ammo. Don't have to worry about any of that stuff. One of the things I really like about uh, Blazing Angels, other than that little thing right there which is annoying sometimes, is that uh, it's a little bit different for arcades. Obviously most arcades these days are focusing a little too much on racers, light uh, and this is different. It's a plain game. Now of course there is Afterburner Climax by Sega. Uh, but that hasn't really done too well. And this is different than Afterburner. Afterburner is very arcadey, straightforward, on-rail shooting, where this is free-roaming, which is kind of unusual for arcades. Um, but I, I like that it actually 
works out pretty well, better than I expected it to. So between the nice graphics, the amazing sound, and interesting controls, I really have to say this game's a winner. I didn't really care for the console version, uh, but the arcade version is just too cool to pass up. So I'd really recommend if you come across this one to give it a shot. You'll probably have a bit of fun with it. And especially here where it's cheaper. But that's it for now. We'll see you guys later.